we have to speak for the environment because the environment can't speak for itself. This MOU is a vehicle to study and assess the conditions of the waters of the base. We look forward to a more promising future for ourselves, the elders that are still here with us, but also to our children. We want them to have a better experience. We want, we want them to have a better life. We have a very long path to travel on reconciliation in this country. But every day we dip our paddle in the water, we begin to close the distance. We must work to transform historic relationships between Indigenous and non-Indigenous communities. And we must similarly strive to transform our relationship with the natural world to a nature-positive, carbon-neutral future. We have received numerous letters of support across the country from regular Joes congratulating Mashkego Cree nations on their endeavor to protect their homelands and waters. Grand Chief uh, Jonathan, Minister Jonathan, with the Jonathans in the room, please stand up. <laughs> Again, it's really important to document this moment. As we force forward on this very important work, let us not look at ourselves, but rather let's consider and think about our children and grandchildren and their children. It is our responsibility to safeguard, protect their culture our culture, tradition, and livelihood.